Forty workers are still trapped inside the Silkiara Barco tunnel in Uttar Kashi. Rescue operations are underway to save these lives. In fact, officials have now roped in the Thai team which led the daring operation to rescue 12 boys of a football team and their 25-year-old coach from the Tham Luang cave in northern Thailand in 2018. But why is this such a complicated operation and it's taking so long and how did the tunnel even collapse? Let's understand. On the morning of 12th November at around 5:30 a.m., NDRF rescue teams were immediately rushed to the accident spot. They drilled a pipe through the debris through which they sent a walkie-talkie to the trapped workers. On 12th and 13th November, the rescuers removed the pile debris in a nearly 55-meter stretch of the tunnel using heavy excavator machines, but they faced the challenge of fresh debris falling from the roof of the collapsed portion. They then tried to create an escape passage using an auger machine and fitting in large diameter pipes. A platform is being prepared for the machines to work in the horizontal direction for the pipe to be pushed through the debris and evacuate the workers. The 900 mm pipe would be wide enough for the workers to pass through. In order to do so on 14th November the teams brought huge steel pipes to the site which engineers hoped to drill through the debris for the workers to come out safely. The rescuers had started drilling using the auger machine and were able to successfully drill through the debris for 2 meters but then a boulder came in the way of the machine. In this process two workers involved in the rescue operation were also injured. According to NHI DCL officials as part of the rescue operations loose earth is being continuously removed and concrete is continuously being sprayed with either a dry or wet mix process to push through the 900 diameter steel pipe to evacuate the workforce. On 15th November rescuers again started removing the fresh debris using JCB machines to again set the auger machine on a platform to push the large diameter pipes through the debris. but fresh debris and muck falling from the roof of the tunnel continues to hamper rescue work a heavy drilling machine called the american auger was airlifted from delhi by three indian air force transport aircraft to replace the failed equipment a new machine landed over 30 kilometers from the tunnel and has been pressed into action at the site though the trapped men are safe and healthy authorities said and are being supplied food water and oxygen through a pipe Officials are in regular contact with them. An under construction tunnel in northern Uttarakhand collapsed early on 12th November morning. There were about 50 to 60 workers on the night shift and those near the exit of the tunnel got out while the 40 who were deeper inside were trapped and one worker was able to leave the tunnel. It was a portion of the tunnel between Silkiara and Dandalgaon on the Brahmakal Yamunotri National Highway which collapsed. The tunnel is part of the Chardham project of the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. It's been constructed on the behalf of the National Highways and Infrastructure Development Corporation Limited for 853.79 crore rupees. The tunnel was being constructed for the benefit of the Chardham pilgrims as it would save their travelling time by around an hour and also help avoid steep mountainous and narrow roads prone to accidents and landslides. The existing road if widened would have completely destroyed the rich flora and fauna of the Radi Top mountains with a thick cover of the rhododendron vegetation. While initial media reports suggest that a landslide triggered the collapse, NHI DCL officials say that an investigation is underway. The Uttarakhand government has also constituted a six-member expert committee to investigate the matter. However, environmentalists have pointed out that practices like using dynamite and large drills can cause landslides and tunnel collapses. They also mentioned that the construction methods for the Chardham all-weather highway especially for widening roads are unacceptable.